This video will cover sketch shapes. Why use sketch shapes? They are faster to compute and are more efficient. Once a sketch shape pattern is placed, only two dimensions are needed to fully constrain the entire pattern. To create sketch shapes, while in sketch mode, go to the Sketch Figures group on the 2D sketching ribbon, click on the shape shown here, or click on the small down arrow, and select the shape from the list. The dialog box will appear when a shape icon is selected. Each shape may have different options, but they are all self-explanatory. In this example, the rectangle shape is selected. Enter the desired value in the side length along X field. Enter the desired value in the side length along Y field. In the angle field, enter the desired angle, if any, measured from the X axis. In the pattern type field, select the pattern type you desire. This sets the arrangement of the shapes in relation to each other in the pattern. In the parameter field, enter the values that apply to the pattern type you selected. The values required vary with the pattern type. In this case, the single row pattern is selected. Pitch indicates the distance between shapes within the pattern. Pattern angle pertains to the angle measured between the x-axis and a line drawn through the shapes in the pattern. Number is the total number of shapes within the pattern. Set the first shape anchor location. This option is not in arc or circular pattern types. This determines where the first shape in the pattern will be placed in respect to your mouse pointer when you click to place the shape. Move your mouse pointer in the work area and click to place the figure. The shape dialog remains open. You can continue to modify the values in the shape dialog as needed for the pattern being created until the Apply button is selected. Any values you modify after clicking the Apply button will be applied to the next pattern of shapes, not the pattern already completed. Select Apply to accept the sketch shape pattern. The sketch shape pattern is placed and center points are shown for each individual shape within the pattern. A preview for a new sketch shape pattern appears with the mouse pointer. You can place another sketch shape pattern or you can modify any of the parameters when placing the next sketch shape pattern until the close button is selected to exit the shape dialog. Note, all of the shape instances are part of a sketch shape pattern. You cannot separate the shapes from the pattern or edit the individual shapes. However, you can edit a shape pattern. To edit a shape pattern, while in sketch mode, double click on a shape within the pattern you wish to edit, or right click on it and select Edit from the pop up menu. The shape dialog will appear. If a different pattern type is selected while the pattern is being edited, a message box will appear to let you know that any dimensions or constraints attached to the pattern will be deleted. Here's an example of how useful these sketch shape patterns can actually be. A rectangle of no particular size is drawn. A circular pattern of circular sketch shapes is created and placed more or less in the center of the rectangle. The rectangle is dimensioned, as is. The center of the pattern is dimensioned to the side and top of the rectangle. And just to keep it interesting, we're using the equation editor to make these dimensions exactly half of whatever the rectangle measures in the same direction. Please refer to your Libre help file for information about using equations. The rectangle's dimensions are edited to be 3 inches wide by 4 inches high. Notice how the pattern positions itself perfectly within the center of the rectangle while maintaining the exact same relationships between the shapes within the pattern. This entire sketch, shape pattern and all, is now extruded into a solid 3D model. This video covered sketch shapes. You learned how to access this feature set to create and edit sketch shape patterns, and how to constrain sketch shape patterns with dimensions, or other types of sketch constraints, to sketch features.